So that's why I, um, I just did the video about a young lady asked me again what made me start a booktube channel. So I did the Q&A and that's the whole reason why I started is because I had a nightmare. I told you already, but I had a nightmare. I couldn't remember the sound of my mother's voice and I woke up all scared and I thought, I don't want that to happen to Tasha. Like, when, you know, I'm gone. I don't want her to have to remember or lose these snatches of me. So I turned on the camera and even though I had already been making videos, but I was keeping them on private and I was making them for the kids. And I always said, hi Tasha. And so when she watches my videos, I'm talking to her. So now I'm gonna let the brown dry a little bit. Then do the leaves, get them over that line, finish right here, cause it's gonna go over some of the leaves. And then, yeah, so got my tree limbs. Just came off of that. And the crown will be last. I'm going July 14th at the end of the of the lockdown. Close day, yeah. Oh yeah. They're going to do um, sections at a time, well, two weeks at a time. Mm -hmm. And may increase the crowd number. Yeah. By the by, by July 13th, July 13th and 14th is supposed to be yeah. all the way completely done. Yeah, that's why I was like, I have to get my murals done. Yeah, that next weekend. So that I can have. It's the all girls' dream. <laughs> I know, right? That's awesome. I know. So I was like, that's you know, awesome. people don't want to come out. Exactly. <laughs> be off of lockdown and right. trying to get out and that's support the their daughters and yeah. sons and see something entertaining and positive that would be cool that would be good that that orange uh huh the orange ground it yeah and well once the leaves too they'll ground it because I know, it like I did rid of that blue line and so the leaves will go over that they'll fall and um but the, that. it's like it's like yeah, the more you, yeah, you're getting rid it, of that white, it, yeah, yeah, it, yeah, it gives it, yeah, <laughs> it, it pulls it everything, and now, it's it, yeah, because yeah. yeah. you're able to see that orange plate like there and it's, over there, it's, and it, it, it grounds everything, yeah. You are you going to go over up into the dark blue, the leaves? No, the oh, see where that white is? Uh -huh. I was thinking about bringing the white over for one long rectangle and putting my name there. Um, oh. But the leaves can actually maybe a couple go over that because um, that's pretty high, and I think that thing will hold me. But I'm not oh sure. yeah, oh I have to jump up and down that thing all the time. Okay, so <laughs> yeah. And I got one. The, the stoppers. If you just stop, if you don't go to the top one, I look. Yeah. I'm afraid of heights. Yeah, see, and, I, and that's the thing, I'm not afraid of heights, I'm afraid of falling. Uh, well, fall from heights. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but I was it's like, like, I'm not scared to climb high. This thing right here, please. Yeah. I, look, see? I don't do this. This I'll oh, do. It does got scoppers. But it's got scoppers. It's a little wiggly, but yeah. you got to get used to it. It's not going to fall over, look, I don't know, okay. I tried to tip it. Okay. Did you? You better stop. I tried to tip it. Okay. So, no, I don't do it. No, uh-uh. Okay. And you feel, I mean, yeah. this is what I know I get right here. Yeah, because I need a one up and one down yeah. thing. So, so, yeah, I can get up there. I put that thing up with this. I mean, yeah. it, it, you do what you got to do. Yeah, because I would love to just um, have a few of them going over the blue. Yeah. And then I good. have to put my name up there and because I don't want it down here. Mm -hmm. I want it right there. So That's awesome. Yeah. And you see how that... um. And I've got to do his hair because that, that black, I'm doing, I'm finishing up with her hair because you see the flat black is in the background mm -hmm. and then you see the little bit of shiny. Mm -hmm. So it, it, all of it will be that kind of a shiny, not the flat back. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you those crevices. Like yeah, because his hair was like full and then as it dries, then you see the white. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it's so many coats of paint on this. I was like, one of the girls, um, she noticed about my art. She was like, you love saturation. I said, I really do. 
I said, I could, like, like that green wall, like, if, if you said, Nisi, I want you to paint over that green wall, keep the green in the background, I'd be like, hold up, um, could you go somewhere for a couple hours? I would stare at the green before I painted anything over. I love a plain color for some reason, and then I just, and that's why I like it's such a yellow color, it's such a green color, such a blue color. Even the ones I've made up, the blue ones, they are, are flat and compacting. I'm a little OCD-ish about that. And then there's art where I do abstract and I don't want nothing, you know, ah, but yeah. I used to, when I first started painting, I didn't want colors to touch. And so that's why there's so many, just the red and just the blue, although the flag helped me with that because the flag don't have blending. And I like to blend on canvas, but blending on these walls, yeah, nah. Because the craters will tell on you. They'll be like, uh-uh, you, you, you gotta stick it, <laughs> gotta keep digging in yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. But you can still blend if you dry paint it, like his shirt, it's kind of a dry paint. You can still see the cream in the back, although I'm going over that because, I, yeah, because this is all about a flatter look with the true color of whatever color I make. But like if I dry colored, then they would have more detail in their face and stuff, but I want full on black boots that look like that. Uh, where I can enjoy their color. It's weird because you in different angles. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, you can still see it from right here. Yeah. I mean, it's and it's rich. Yeah, and I love the rich color. Because I that's, that like met my um, OCD-ish, your sign, a blue house, a green house. I was like, yes, this has to go on this side. The dull colors will go over there because that door is going to be open. They can go to the end. But I like making up colors. Most of those colors are made up. And these are straight from that house, the houses. And so, yeah, that way it matches a little bit more. I was like, dang, the South. Um, Africa flag has the same colors of your takes a village, which makes so much sense since the saying comes from Africa. It just goes together. It just goes. I think. Oh, I want to do a stack of books, but I want the kids to help me. Um, over there in that little area where we want to do the reading thing, like um, little the rectangles, mm -hmm. and then we'll put names of like their favorite books, like. The Coretta Scott King Award is, you can literally go in the library when they open and get all the Coretta Scott King um, award winning books for children. And we can just basically, we'll um, get some letters and trace the letters and then paint it in, you know, the, the names and titles of the books um, that won her award and then put, you know, Coretta Scott King book award list. Um, and they can, that's why I want to have like, if the parents will let me and, you know, like allow us to do just like a book club and if they can get the kids involved, do you think they would do that? Oh yeah. then we could take, uh, pick the top 10 exactly. after reading them and then the books are already be there and we fill out, we fill out the name of the title of each book on the painting. What? <laughs> No, maybe, because I'll do it. I'll get kids mm -hmm. and kids and, yeah. Because yeah. you got a strict, a I like how you have a very commanding, strict coach-like voice with them, and they respect you. Because, <laughs> honey, when I did them splits and your girls came to me, just ran to me and got me up off that floor, I was like, y'all don't have to help me. They just came over and they got me up. I was like, they just listened to Steven. They have no choice. I know, that's what I love about it. I mean, and, but they know it's full of love. Stevie don't play that. They know it's full of love. <laughs> I mean, it, it, yeah, it, it is it, all they love. They know I love them. And yeah. they know I throw my 12 shoe at their head and heartbeat. <laughs> throw that shoe. <laughs> I just wish you could have seen some of the yeah. other buildings and for F shirts that I've shown to the beginning. Yeah. To now, mm -hmm. the growth. Yeah. Of their I dance, think that's a beautiful thing to watch. Maturity. Uh, I mean, it's like raising kids. I mean, Jeff yeah. tells my teeth that yeah, yeah. We, we share, we share, we share that. We share my daughter. Uh huh. And my his son child. is so, he's just so, I just, he's so mannerable. Like, just sitting up here talking to these two old people. Who <laughs> oh, yeah. His son, was that his son that was there? Or who was that boy that was here? Remember that night we were talking about Jeff? And was it Kimmy Thompson's son? Or oh, Greg, 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 Greg. So who's, 
Son of C. Greg is, he can be son. Can, okay. He's the oldest grandchild. Yes. He's the oldest grandchild. So he was just so, he was just so cool. Oh, he's funny. It was oh my nice God. to talk to him. He is hilarious. <laughs> he is hilarious. That's I mean, crazy. I just, this, it's just amazing. I, just five years ago, six years ago, I mean. Yeah. I'm <laughs> just floored. <laughs> I love it. How things, I mean, have progressed yeah. so much so fast in five years. Yeah. I mean, I probably have seen over a thousand kids on the stage. Wow. Because every time it's somebody new, it's somebody different. Mm-hmm. And there's never been, I mean, a, there's only a few that I can count on both hands that's been in all productions. Oh, for real? There's right. actually been three, only three. Three? Imani, Jeff uh-huh. Thompson's son, Ozzy, who is. Ozzy, Ozzy was here. Mm-hmm. Ozzy was here. She uh-huh. was here downstairs. And then uh, Daria, she's one of my senior. Yeah. And uh, they was the three of us. I, I gave them awards this past November. Yeah. And then five years. We go to night and got Danny Trophy. So, <laughs> yeah. Where's my stevia? Uh, Where'd you go? There you are. Uh oh. You need the. Um, yeah, just a little one. You know, because I wanted to make sure I didn't get all caught up. I wanted to make sure I got that um, brown up there because I had to do another red coat color for that flag, and I got that, that one. Red come out right here. Huh? Oh, it is. The red is right here. Yeah, I really like that color. I'm not even gonna go over it anymore. Cause it almost looks like a plum. I can't wait to get the blue over here. The who? Oh. 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 When we do your show, yeah. they come in here and say, okay, it's gonna, I mean, I'm talking about mm-hmm. I've got a big little tripod that's gonna sit right there. It's yeah. gonna have your picture on it. It's gonna have art show. Yeah. Uh, oh, I already. Oh, I'm gonna. Dollars? I'm gonna be so in character. I just wanna let you know. Well, at least you should be. I know, all right? No, but I mean, like, not like just dress yeah, nice. Enough, they're gonna see this first. I'm gonna have some extra fro. I'm gonna have extra on the African garb. Like it's gonna be so nice. Um, and I'm, and I'm talking about. I'm gonna get somebody to make one. Arts Connect has an. Email of probably about four or five, four, four or five thousand people. Yeah. And a lot of people have come to my shows. Right. The white people. Yeah. This fifth year. Yeah. We've done this five years. Yeah. Half of the audience, yeah. and the audience was, we probably had about eight, eight hundred, eight hundred people. Yeah. Half of the people had never been to any of my shows. See, that's beautiful. And probably a third of those people were white like, yeah. in the audience. Mm-hmm. A third. Yeah. That's unheard of. Yeah, that's support, and that's and it, that, that's an people. actual good word that went around. Yeah. So it doesn't matter. It, no. It doesn't. And, 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 and but and you've always had that effect. You never want to admit it, but this, I'll tell you. Like more people are coming. You go to the mall, and people and, like. And Stephen Mason, like, 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 who are these people? <laughs> I don't know. And people are. I mean, there's, there's so many people who say, okay, it's gonna be the same thing. It's like y'all don't yeah. understand. Yeah. Then there was probably about. Fourth that have been to all five shows. Wow. I think to God, thank you. Thank yeah. you for the support. Yeah. Thank you for the support. You wait. When we get them, because I truly, really, I, really, I, mean, I love, shows, I these love. Four, these four our shows a year is about to drive me crazy. I'm that's going to be dope. So. I do make that work. Yeah. Because see, yes. I can run it through Parson Rec. Yeah. And they'll put it on the website. Yeah. Yeah. You know the connections I got with China County. I know you. You think you act like you need these connections. You are you. No, I know what you mean though. It's but, a partnership. Yeah, but Stephen, your your name holds weight because you've been connection. you've been doing this so long. Yeah, but, but and you've got it, such it'd a, be a difference if I was resume. here from 19, 19, 1999 yeah. up to 2011. But I was in yeah. LA for all the time. There's yeah. a lot of people that grew up and that came came to yeah. me that don't know me. Yeah, but they're now rediscovering they me now. Mm-hmm. Back their parents oh, do, or their cousins yeah, do, or yeah, somebody that yeah. we went to school with knows you, and their kids are being raised by so you in the dance. Now, and now it's like people are like, okay, this mm-hmm. dude right here, he's, he's, yeah. 
and they love the fact that you're here because it, it creates some stability for them. They know that they can, you know, get with Coach Massey or, you know, you know, and have the show. And as they're growing up do, through their years of, you know, learning dance and then going to college and having you on their resume. And that, that's nice. That's a, a big, nice community effort. But um, I can't wait to some grown-up plays. I'm telling you, Stevie. And there's grown-ups. I mean, I, that's why I allow. Somebody said, you know, you're saying, why are you chopping the crap? Why you always got to have adults? I said, because they're still adults that yeah. have never done anything. And wanted to. And or wanted right. to. Like when I used to uh, sit there watching you and Dana do the steps, and I just sit there and go, I want to try it, but I'm scared. scared. Like scared. <laughs> they too good. Wasn't allowed. <laughs> like, no, uh, they're too I good. Mean, just, and, that, and that was, I guess that's what Dana showed me. Yeah. Is that she you were took, fearless, though. She took everybody that she made us like that. Yeah, I think you were she fearless. She made us not too scared of nothing. Yeah. You had a nice, fearless um, and now it's like that. creativity um, always. I mean, you were in track, yeah. played football. Um, you did so many things. And see, and see people don't and don't know any of that. I was other like, stuff. how is he getting into all this stuff and good at everything? <laughs> but <laughs> no, I ain't dancing with this fool. I'm gonna sit here and watch, <laughs> and then I'll be going home. I'll be killing it. <laughs> Thank you. Ain't nobody see me. <laughs> people be like, how, how can you do everything? Yeah, but most a lot of artists can like. No, I just. Yeah. And mama just always said, especially daddy, yeah. do yeah. do it as you're doing it to the Lord. Give it your best. Yeah. Yeah. I don't care. He said, I don't care if you are, if, if you a yeah. pimp, if you a drug pusher, whatever you gonna do, do it yeah. to the best of your ability. Like, yeah. that. and that's just how I look at it. That's what, and I think a lot of people have to find the thing that they are fearless about. Like you were fearless about pretty much everything and, and very well rounded and a lot of people aren't like that they have this one thing and I used to wonder why I wanted to do all these different things and couldn't settle on that one thing but I had to find the one thing that made me fearless the one thing I, I knew I was good at and could show like writing was different because I could tell those stories to Miss Fitzpatrick and um, you know the teacher was like don't you ever stop writing or to mama but I didn't want nobody else seeing what I wrote. You know, you're kind of like that with your diary or, or your little short stories and stuff like that. But once I start painting, I can paint in front of a live crowd. I don't know what I'm going to paint. People come by, oh, you're painting live, you know, at the poetry club. Oh, what are you going to paint? I don't know. How do you not know? Oh my God, aren't you scared if you don't know what you're going to paint? Not really. <laughs> like, could you go sit down? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because I just, you know, whatever, it's just going to take over. And like I was, only thing I was like, um, when I got commissioned to do that first mural, that man built that scaffold for me, and me and DJ just took off the paints up them stairs, and people was asking, well, what kind of mural are you gonna paint? I was like, I don't know. The story will come, you know. Then he told me about the story of the loft, and it was back in the day when it was a, it was a. Um, Miller's Loft was a, a loft that used to, it was a plant. And, you know, a feed plant or whatever they were putting together where women could work. Because that's back in the day when, and these were all white women, they could not work along with men. And, you know, this is old, old Miller Loft. So they couldn't work uh, along with men, but they could work at this plant. And it was becoming that time where women were starting to work in plants and things like that. But the men at home were getting mad. So this group of white men, took one of the women out, I don't know if it was his wife or whatever, and they drug her out and did some terrible things to her, protesting the fact that women were leaving the home and you know, being having the cooking and the air cleaning and everything at home for their men. But men were going through at that time. They were losing the job, there was a recession, there, all this stuff. So women were working and they still didn't like it because they were men and they needed to make the bread and the bacon and what they did to this woman. And so it was kind of like unlocking this key. And so on my mural, there's, you know, my little playful characters and the, the, the mural has kids in it because there were kids that lived in the building. I didn't want to make it this strong, a bunch of women with boobs or nothing like that, you know, working and all that, um, cause the kids wouldn't understood. And so the little girl, there's a tree and there's this little girl, she's kind of like flying in the air and she's got this little chain dangling and it's a key. And it's basically representing that these women 
unlock this key to other women working. And you know, as the story just, I mean, it was a really good story, but he told me about it and I read it in the, um, online, I looked it up. And I was like, that is so cool. So now these kids can just be free. And so that's why they, they're not grounded. They're on a, one's on a bicycle, one's on skates, but there's no, they're not on the floor. Like women are flying now. They're free to just create. And there's only, do I even put a little boy on there? No, because it's a women's place where women work. And you know, it was just, it was such a good story. And so I was like, I wanted to relate, but I want the kids to not even pick up on that kind of history. And, but some of the little kids asked me, you know, what's the key for? What is she holding the key for? And I was like, because she's just unlocking, she's getting free, that's all. She's just free to fly. That's <laughs> all. Like, you don't need to know the backstory about what they did to this woman, and they didn't want them to work there. But that's what she was doing, and she was unlocking the key to the factory to allow the women to come in and work, and now they're free and they're blind. And so, yeah. But it was cute, and I freaking love that mural. But yeah. So I'm waiting for that little brown. And it, uh, the circulation in here makes it dry fast. So I like that. So it also gives me a chance to get off my main arthritic knee and get me uh, something to eat. Oh, where's your water at? Oh, do you have plastic cups back there? Plastic, paper, whatever. I just need two because I need to mix some paint. I oh, need yeah. three different greens. You want the styrofoam or the? Styrofoam, something that, um, Whatever you don't use as much. Because they're going to mess up. I mean, it's uh, <laughs> Y'all use everything. Come back here and see what you can get. What if you can come back? If I ain't here and you need to get some, uh -huh. go in there and get it. Okay. It's a lot. I don't know what you want. I want you 